Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amanda Morris, and I will be the course moderator today. Thank you for joining our webinar, Green Globes versus LEED V4, brought to you by LEED CE Academy. We will start the webinar in a few minutes. Please use this time to adjust your screen resolution and speaker volume to better view this webinar. Now let me introduce today's presenter. Kayla Gerstenberg holds a degree in Business Administration from Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, and serves as a Business Development Manager for LEED CE Academy. Kayla's goal is to spread knowledge of green building and sustainability practices worldwide. She believes we can each educate others by setting an environmental friendly example in our everyday lives. Kayla has done in-depth analysis of the Green Globes and LEED V4.0 rating system, among others in the industry. She's excited to share with you today her findings. Kayla is also a LEED Green Associate. Now that you are familiar with today's presenter, let's look at the course description. This course is designed as an introduction to the Green Building Incentives Green Globes Rating System, as well as LEED V4.0. The course will compare the salient features of both rating systems and highlight the evaluation and certification process for projects. We will examine both rating systems as they apply to various project types and conclude with analysis of a case study of a project certified under Green Globes and another project certified under LEED V4.0. Okay, let's begin with the chronological history of both of the rating systems we'll discuss today. So though both of them have a lot of similarities that we'll discuss, their pasts actually vary quite a bit. So let's begin by looking at the history of LEED. So if we go back to 1993, the United States Green Building Council was founded. So the Green Building Council continued to work throughout the 1990s and rolling into 1998, the USGBC had its very first pilot project test run the original version of the Green Building Rating System, which would later be named LEED. After further fine-tuning from 98 to 2000, LEED, or Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, was established. From 2000 to 2009, they continued to modify the rating systems as it was being used. So as projects were gaining certification and as professionals were gaining accreditation, they continued to improve on that system. And in 2009, LEED version 3 was rolled out. So version 3 or version 2009 saw really major changes and expansions from the previous versions of LEED. In November of 2013 at Greenbuild in Philadelphia, LEED version 4.0 was unveiled. This was a very anticipated debut. Um, the rating system was actually set to debut in 2012, but due to delays, um, it got pushed to 2013, actually to the end of 2013. So by November, um, everyone in the industry was very much looking forward to seeing what the new lead was all about. And I'm happy to be here today to discuss some of that with you. So that brings us up to date on lead. Now let's take a look at Green Globe's history. So this has a little more of a complicated history. In 1996, BREEAM was adopted for Canadian use. So BREEAM stands for the British Research Establishment Environmental Assessment Method. And this was really the genesis of Green Globes. From 1996 to 2002, the Canadian system underwent numerous changes and adjustments before becoming Green Globes for existing buildings, which debuted in 2002. Green Globes didn't really make its way to the United States until 2004 when GBI or the Green Building Initiative acquired the rights to distribute Green Globes in the United States. In 2013, the GSA recommended Green Globes as an equivalent to LEED in their recommendations. Actually, we'll be discussing this um, point specifically a little later today, so for now we'll leave that. But I hope this gives you kind of an idea of where both of these organizations come from and where these rating systems have their roots. If we continue to look at both of these rating systems and dig into the culture of both of them, we should really begin by examining their mission statements. So the USGBC states that their mission statement is to transform the way buildings and communities are designed, built, and operated enabling an environmentally and socially responsible, healthy, and prosperous environment that improves the quality of life. 
Green Globes, on the other hand, GBI's mission statement is to promote energy efficient and environmentally friendly building solutions within the residential and commercial building industry. So we can see in both of these, though they appear different, the same values are really present in both. Environmental consciousness in building decisions is the driving factor behind both of these organizations, both USGBC and GBI. Now let's take a look at the leadership of each of the organizations. Rick Fedrizzi was appointed the president and CEO of the USGBC in April of 2004. Since his time with the USGBC, he's tripled the membership of the organization, as well as seen other successes, both for him professionally and for the organization. Jerry Udelson was appointed the president and CEO of GBI less than one month ago. He's following Ward Hubble, who served as a rather controversial CEO for many years over GBI. Some of you may also be aware that Jerry is a lead fellow who was previously tied to the USGBC himself. So I've included a screenshot on the slide that you can see right now of an actual scorecard under LEED version 4. And this is the scorecard for LEED for new construction and major renovations. But you can see the credit categories that we've discussed. Um, many of the credits that you saw you'll see listed here. You can also see on the right-hand column the possible points that are earned under each of the credits and the category as a whole. So something that I'd like to point out to you is that the energy and atmosphere credit category has by far the most weight with LEED version 4. And this is consistent from the previous versions of LEED, but it's definitely noteworthy there. 